you through some hip flexor and hip release stretches um, just to get through some mobility into the hip. So the first one you'll need to come down onto the floor. Okay. It's called a shin box. Feet are in front of you and you're just going to turn yourself to the side. One leg will rotate to the side, opposite it drops down and you'll be coming up and pushing your hip forward. So as you do that, swapping side to side and then just driving that hip to open up, okay? Doing 10 of these in total on either side. Okay, the next exercise you're going to do is called a hip flexor stretch. Just coming onto the knees, take one leg forward, just gently open up your hips, drop your hips down, take the arm up to the ceiling, just stretch it out all the way down through the hip flexors as you sink and stretch. That's it. And then release out, again dropping down, that stretch and release. You're just going to do 10 of those. You can take your hands up to the ceiling if you like, or you can just sink and keep your hands to the side. Once you've done 10 of those, take that leg out to the side, foot flat on the floor, sink your hips back and come down with your arms to the front, okay? You'll feel a nice stretch through the inner thighs. If you find your flexibility is challenging, then stay on your hands because you're just going to rotate out to the side and then come back into the center 10 times on one side. Rotate and come down. If you are flexible and a little bit more, want more dynamic stretches, you can come down to your elbows and again, same thing. You're going to twist and then come into the center, keeping your foot out flat the whole time. Ten of those on that side. Then lift up onto your knees, take the opposite leg full up in front of you, bend the knees, drop your hips down into the hip stretch, reach up and release. And again sink a little lower each time and release. Drop low into the hips. Perfect. Ten of those on that side. Then you're going to take that leg to the outer side of your placing the foot flat on the floor. Just sink your hips back and down, hands in front. And ten, as you keep that adductor stretched, we're going to rotate through the back and the shoulders. That's one. You're going to do that ten times. Again, if you feel you need more and you're a bit more flexible, you can come down onto your elbows and as you rotate, you will feel that stretch all the way through the inner thighs and the hips. Lastly, you're going to bring yourself into a deep squat position and you're going to isometrically hold this. If you need to hold onto a wall, a bench, or even bring yourself up against a wall, you can do that. Alternatively, sink back down, open up through the knees, and push your hips low to the ground, and just hold there for about one to two minutes as you open up through the hips and hold that stretch. Once you've held that out for that maximum one or two minutes, you can release your legs out, and then just gently go for a walk for about five minutes to flush out your legs.